James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is August 11, 2023, 3.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had something go strangely with our magnetosphere yesterday evening. I was actually turned on to this by one of our subscribers I wanted to show it to you guys and see if you've ever seen anything like this. Now, first off, all day long, prior to this, we see solar winds hitting the back side of our planet. Our planet's this small ball here. The white part is sun-facing. The black part is night-facing, constantly changing, rotating 360 degrees, Every 24 hours, you can see that there's a lot of density here on the back side. There's a gap of density here on our bow, although we do see a bow shock out here. Now, this is not what's so freaky. We're going to play through the freaky part here. It looks like, and this is usually what is what it looks like right here, that we have two explosions. Now, we're going to play through this at their speed. First one, you can see the winds pushing on the back side of it, more pushing on the back side of it. All of a sudden, now we had no solar events. You're going to see, and this has never looked like this before as well. You see that bow light up, and then what looks like an explosion from our sun, not once. Keep watching here. Look at that. What is that? There's one. Never seen that before. And there's another one even stronger. And there's a third one even stronger. I have never seen our magnetosphere do this in the many years I've looked at this. Absolutely amazing. It's almost like we got hit by a super strong. Look, another one. Unbelievable. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Now I'm going to do it by hand real quick. You can see all the solar winds pushing at the back side. There's actually a red bow shock back here as well. And these winds are millions of miles behind Earth. This is Earth's atmosphere and our moon and satellites here. You can see the actual legend above. I'm going to move this through because I've never seen anything like this before. This is the first explosion. There's followed a second one right there. It's like two on top of each other. Notice how the lines are pointing out from the origin, which is this area here. I have no idea what occurred. And then it really gets dense back there, the most dense I've ever seen it, only to be followed by a stronger explosion, only to be followed by yet another explosion. This is the freakiest magnetic. Look at this one. I don't know where it originated from. It looks like it originated from somewhere right in here. These arrows going that way. And you can see the density. Unbelievable. There's no explanation for this. All right, I went over to match this up with real-time solar winds. And I've run into a huge problem here. That one, two, three and a half hour period well it's been erased and they've put in these triangles instead fully erased here a triangle here a triangle here a triangle here I've never seen that done before but that covers the exact time period that I was looking for something strange to happen we see plasma at its highest level of the day yesterday this is a three-day chart please note at under 10 uh, centimeters cubed, which is the space weather alert threshold. And then, amazingly, solar winds go from 385 to over 500 kilometers per second. Uh, this happens after whatever that event was. 
I'm not quite sure what occurred there. We will take a look at one other item. We're taking a look at today's pressures. And what we're going to see here is more pressure on the backside or opposite sun facing side of our planet. And there it is right there. Absolutely no bow shock, no solar weather creating anything except for on the back night side of our planet. Ladies and gentlemen, it's always off to that exact same position, whatever's going on. In this model, Earth is moving to the left, orbiting the sun around 67,000 miles an hour, while coming at you at about 544,000 miles an hour, being pulled by its geomagnetic connection to the sun, the sun moving away from the Big Bang, according to mainstream science. I have no idea what's going on here and what caused what looked like three or four explosions that seem to occur right behind Earth. And finally, I wanted to show you guys that from 1 to 7 on every one of these KP indexes, we had absolutely no space weather whatsoever, no geomagnetic disturbance, no storm, very little activity whatsoever. But that is the eight-hour period when we had what looked like the four explosions that emanated either from Earth or from right behind Earth. Please let me know what you guys think. God bless. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.